Hey there, Doris Mocha here and welcome to Stories at 254, home of entertaining entertainment where you educate, you entertain you and inform you at the same time. And today I'm hanging out with award-winning, <laughs> eh? I'm so excited, award-winning actress Nyokafi Masharia. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Good to see you. You look nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> how are you doing? I am doing great. To Kouku Kid Fest, uh, we're just, you know, checking out what's going on. Yeah. So how, so far, how do you feel about the event? Um, it's really exciting how they've been able to scale it up um, from the number of countries that are participating in this to the number of, um, to the variety of um, the pieces and stuff like that. We have an audio installation room, which was there last year, yes, but then this year we have like a life uh, size wooden matatu by Brian Irongo and people just go there and chill and they're having screenings in that uh, wooden matatu. Um, you know, we have dances, we have like a lot of variety and I, and I think it's just, I really applaud them. I applaud them for the way they've been able to also take care of the participants, you know, um, feeding them, accommodating them. I think it's not, it's definitely not easy and it looks like there's a lot of money that has been put into this and I applaud, I, I feel like this is how the theatre should look like. Yeah. You really look nice. Thank you. I don't know if you can tell us who was dressed to. Yes. Um, they are called Mishonaji. They are my people. And uh, one particular person called Ben is my tailor. And he's the one who gets this situation done. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your Netflix, The Big Mouth. Yes. That was, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I feel great, I guess. <laughs> I feel really good. Um, we recorded it, I think, a while back, maybe a year ago. Oh. Yeah, so it's like... It was like, oh my god, yeah, we did this, by the way, it came out. And so I, it's mixed feelings of like, oh, it's really nice to see how the world is reacting. But also it's been such a long time. So we're just like, oh yeah, we did that then. Yeah. So I, um, how did you get the role? Um, Alfred from, what is it called? He's called Alfred Munua, who was in, um, he was in Mother-in-Law. He was in uh, Crime and Justice. So he's the one who got that sort of uh, casting call and everything and he called up some people and were like, you know, would you like to try out, try out for this role? And that's how I, I auditioned and then I ended up getting the role. Yeah. How much are you paid? I can't say. Are you? We're going to pay me so that I can tell you. <laughs> You're going to pay me, I can tell you now. <laughs> but thanks for trying, that's a good. <laughs> thanks for trying, that's I'm great. Trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a for effort, we gotta give it to her. Yeah. Uh, so you know you're such an inspiration to very many actors who, okay, people who believe they're actors, yeah. who are in the game, mm -hmm. who, who are upcoming. Thank you. What makes you so amazing oh, as an actor? Gosh, I don't know. You know, I think each one of us has that individual thing and unique thing about us. And I think it's just about leaning onto that thing that you're good at. Um, it's trusting and listening to your instincts as as a human being, number one, and also as a creative and leaning onto it. So I can't say like I am more amazing than any other person. It's just I think I've been I've learned how to lean onto my creative um, abilities and I've been able to discover them and I've been able to tap into them yeah you know being a creative is not easy it's not an easy thing absolutely yeah so how do you manage um, when things are difficult how do you manage oh dear lord you cry you eat you go to the club you pray like honestly anything and everything um, talk about it uh, conversations for me are such a big thing as well um, yeah and you know maybe spend time with my friends and my loved ones yeah ah, loved ones uh, Hey, hey, but you good try again. Thanks for trying. That's great. Thank you, thank you so much for trying. I I am not. I love how you're so you're so persistent <laughs> about it. I'm not giving no, you any know, answer. People are really curious out there. Yes, let them, let them stay curious. Let them stay curious. Tell them to come and bribe me so I can tell them that situation. Yes. Yeah. So Ushay, uh, I know you get so many DMs. Yeah. Ushay gets like um, 
a bad DM. Like maybe somebody hit on you and then you refused and oh then Oh my come god, at you. all the time. Um I think it's just it's part of the job and you just learn how to ignore it and just move on with your life because sometimes um, people feel like they're entitled to your time and to your attention and everything and you know they forget that you meet so many people and even though like you're happy to say hi and everything um, there's a boundary you know so it, it's just with time I've been able to learn I'm still learning to be honest how to create my boundaries and how to know okay this is this is for you the media or this is for who and then there are things for me as your coffee yeah how do you prepare yourself for auditions relaxing whatever makes me relax the most I keep saying um, acting or auditioning actually acting really is about relaxing when you're in action it's just mastering yourself in that moment auditioning does not mean anything about your act it doesn't say anything about your acting skill auditioning and actually being on a job are two completely different things and you'll find that there are actors who are extremely extremely good at auditioning but they're very poor when they're going on set and vice versa where you find someone is extremely poor when it comes to auditioning but my goodness when they get that job they will nail it and so um, for me it's about blocking distractions on the day making sure literally not even having my phone off because something as simple as a text could disorient me before I get into a room so I will before I get into an audition I won't speak much uh, because also I'm giving out energy and I don't want to interfere with like I just want to be in a Zen moment before I get in and then do my thing leave it leave the room forget about it because also that's another thing you audition and then you you're just you know you never get feedback sometimes or you never want so you just learn to do your best and let go yeah you've gone for audition and yeah. then you get that call that call that you've gotten the role yeah how do you feel like Una feeling that there are some I'm really the ones that I really want. I'm like, oh my god, I actually got the role, it's amazing. Um, uh, heartbreak though is that immediately after that, you 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 bec you just reset to your normal self, unfortunately or fortunately. That's the thing with success or high moments or that kind of thing. Then there are others, honestly, I could not be bothered and I got the role and I don't even feel that job, and I'm just like. Oh, that's uh, that's great. And so, honestly, sometimes it depends. It depends with the kind of job, yeah. Maybe tips for actors. Tips for actors. Wow, consistency and confidence. Believe, believe in yourself. That's I think the number one thing actually. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Yeah. You know, you're really um, consistent. Yeah. What motivates you to continue doing the same same thing? Um. I love what I do. I love what I do and I am lucky enough to um, work with people from you know different cultures or different areas and that I think really sometimes you don't even feel like doing something and then you go to a rehearsal room and you meet someone else and they're like oh my god I really love this day and I just lean on to their energy or <sighs> you just start honestly I think and also surrounding yourself with highly motivated people so that even you when you're down you know they're able to sort of spark that energy in you yeah so how do you unwind how do i unwind Ooh, me i love being in my house i just love being by myself um, i love going for concerts i love um going out that kind of thing yeah if you are to live in a world yeah. that's a film which one do you do that's a good one. If I were to live in a world that's a film, I want to say, uh, what's this film with Malcolm X? Actually, it's Malcolm X, I think. Yeah. And it sounds very turbulent, honestly, because that was during the Black Panther movement, but I've always thought the 90s were the most exciting times. And so I think I'd love to just experience the Black Panther movement in the African-American society. I feel like they were just, they were so charged and at the time is when you know the artists were also because you know strife brings a lot of inspiration and i feel like that was the artists were so ripe at the time so i think i would love to just have a peek at that world yeah maybe not get shot or get killed but just you know be be an observer getting in the fun times and stuff like that so yeah you're an inspiration to very many actors mm -hmm. how do you handle the the attention because I know you get a lot of attention 
Um, oh God. It depends. Also, I, I, I don't think I'm like as famous. Like I can't walk by, on the street by myself. Like I, I'm not gonna walk by the street and be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no coffee. I can still comfortably walk by the street and just be like, oh, I wanna do this and that. Um, oh, I've learned to. I don't know. I just, I guess it comes with the job and also as a person. I really enjoy getting to know other people, so that helps. Um, but sometimes it really gets exhausting, I'm not gonna lie, and I just need to learn when to step away from a crowd because then now I become moody or whatever. Um, I just need to learn how to, what is it called? I know when I have the energy to entertain people or to just be there, and I know when I just need to take a step away and just refresh and or go home if I don't have the energy, yeah. I know a lot of actors would love to know mm -hmm. How do you, like, what's your process of, like, um, getting lines? Uh, wow, getting lines. Um, you read <laughs> the line. <laughs> I think, first of all, understanding the story, uh, it really, really helps. And then going over them over and over again, to be honest. I don't think there's any, I don't know if there's any other way. But first for me, it's just understanding the story and then making sure I go over my lines over and over again just so I can it can be muscle memory and not so that by the time I'm acting it's I'm more focused on the action rather than remembering the words yeah do you feel as if um, the Kenyan film industry is changing absolutely it's it is changing we're definitely getting a lot more work um, in terms of like there's there's a lot more work being put out um, I do think we can do better in terms of the the rates um, that are getting paid because I feel like we are churning out more work but the rates keep getting lower and lower so that's definitely something that um, we need to look at yeah there was this thing that was circulating online people yeah. are saying that um, we see the same same actors yeah in film yeah Is it, what do you feel about that um, hmm, that's an interesting one I, I I think if it's someone's time, it's someone's time and you can't deny it and there's something right they have done to get themselves there even if people say oh it's favours and stuff like that there's definitely something right that they've done to get them there but also if it's your time, it's your time um, you'd find like actors over a period of time like someone is getting a lot of jobs and then they'll to Leah Kidogo and then they'll get so I think also people need to understand that it's such a seasonal job and when it's someone's time like just support and allow them to be in that space yeah and I think a lot of people imagine maybe actors they imagine that mm. like now for example you they imagine that you just don't go to auditions they mm. just imagine maybe you just mm. get a role just like that mm. No, no, it doesn't happen that way. Obviously, you have to. I don't know any role unless someone is specifically writing a role for you. Um, most of the time, even if I won't go to KNT or whatever, I'll be called in for those auditions. So, yeah, we definitely have to audition. Even the biggest stars in South Africa or Nollywood or whatever, they also audition for roles. Yeah. Have you ever done a project, Noka Costa Kulipwa? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My earlier years, my good lord, they, those were. It was so normal, my good lord. But obviously now, the more you advance, the more you're able to negotiate stuff for yourself, the more, you know, you're able to stand up for yourself as well. Yeah. Maybe last words to your fans? Last words, have fun, take care of yourself. December is coming, just have fun, man. So how ni jibu bado? Kamu No, I ain't telling you that. I ain't telling you that. I'm sorry, okay? You gotta pay me for that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah.